All right, Bhakti Hawa, Bhakti Aoshai. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakaha Kudash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son. Rakaha Kudash is the Holy Spirit that does the comforts and guides us in all understanding. I want to say peace and blessings to the elect of Israel and double honors to our elders and apostles of Israel coming back in the reincarnation known as Great Millstone. All right, so I'm going to bring out some more proof. Lashwan um, Kudash is real. All right, so I just want to play this video and get it and show a few things and, and I'll be done. So we just finished, wrapped up class and some spiritual things came out of it. And I want to bring out uh, some Hebrew, some, some edification real quick and I borrow out uh, in the Hebrew. So just check this out really quick. All right. Now this is the queen. This is supposed to be the queen of England. All right, the queen of the queen of the damned lighting the tree of life. Uh, all right, now just check out the way that it looks. Let me fast forward here. Bear with me. All right, so you can see she's about to light the tree of life. All right, and you see, you see what it looks like as it gets lit up. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to let it keep going, actually. You see how it kind of looks like that infinity sign? Continuity of just keep going and going and going. Now let me see if it's going to show an over top picture. All right. See, look at that. See that? Now, <clears throat> in Assyria, now, there's an image I had in a book that I was reading called the Biblical World Atlas. And it says, this is an image that was inside of it. It says, the tree of life is a prominent symbol in Assyrian reliefs, such as this panel showing two portraits of King uh, Asher Nasserpal worshiping a deity, possibly the sun god Shemash. And if you look at this, all right, if you look at this image here, it looks exactly like the image that um, that queen lit up. So that's how we know this is pagan worship, of course. They're just worshiping these old deities. All right, so let me just show you this again. Let me see if I can maybe do a side by side here. Let's, uh, let's do that and grab this. All right, now look at this. It's the same exact thing. This is, a, you see how it's getting lit up going through like this? And then up here is what they were worshiping, which was the sun god. Now, the main thing that I wanted to point out, all right, that's enough of that. The main thing I wanted to point out, when you look up, all right, the sun god for the Assyrians, it says Utu later worshiped by the East Semitic Akkadian speaking Babylonians as Shamash. You see that? Shamash was the ancient Mesopotamian sun god, god of justice, morality, truth, and the twin of Mesopotamian goddess Ayana or Ishtar. All right, now it says that the sun god is Shamash. When you look up the Hebrew word for sun, all right, let's look up the word sun. It's Shemesh. See, they sometimes in the blue letter they'll have their word completely uh, butchered, but for sun it's pretty close, and it's Shamash. Now, the Lord is the spirit. The Lord is using the Lord used this scholar, all right, and scholars in Wikipedia or whatever whatever they want to use through a false deity showing you that even though they're worshiping the deity and they're calling it Shamash, it still proves that the Hebrew word and the way that it's supposed to be pronounced is, is correct. All right, which you see right here. All right, showing you that the Lashwan Kodash is real. All right, they were worshiping a sun god called Shamash. In the Hebrew word, the Lashwan Kodash for sun is Shamash. Now also, I want to point out too, how do we know that the ah is correct and we have our, our, our vowels correct? Well, when you look at Yahweh on the Edom online, all right, and you come through here, it says, based on the assumption that the tetragrammaton is the imperfection of the Hebrew verb hawa, all right, not haba or hawe, all right, it's hawa, which also further shows you that the Lashwan Kodash is correct with the spirit of Yahweh Bashmiah Washai rested upon the elders and apostles 
to get to put the alphabet together and the Hebrew book put together, and that's 100% correct. And more truth and more proof is coming out about it. Just so you can see that that's how we know the Lord's name is Yahweh. How are they going to write this here, but then have the name Yahweh? This should say Yahweh. Let's continue on. When you look up the Hebrew word for Haran, all right, Haran, which means mountaineer, that's where Abraham fled before he went to the promised land. It's Haran. Now, what you see here, more proof that the Lashwan Kardash is correct. They had the pronunciation almost correct, but it's spelled completely wrong. You see K-A-W-R-A-W-N, which is very close to how you're supposed to say it. It's supposed to be Haran, not Karan. All right, Karan. And to further prove, all right, to further prove that the Lashwan Kardash is correct, when you go to Acts chapter 7 and verse. Two, it says, then said the high priest, are these things so? Acts 7 and 2, and he said, men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The power and glory of the Most High of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran. Now you see it's spelled with a C-H here. Why is that? Because, again, it's just proof. All right, this is proof that the Lashwan Kodash is real. All right, really, there should be an extra A in there, too. All right, so and you can see that you have Haran. This is the correct way. And Esau almost had it here with Karan. All right, so I just want to point out those two things. I didn't want this to be long. You know, I pray and you know that you were edified. Again, the Hebrew word for son is Shamash. And all the scholars know that it's supposed to be pronounced Shamash. So what the hell is going on with all the other words? All right, that's how you know the Yiddish is not the correct Hebrew. All right, the modern day Hebrew that they're speaking of Israel is not correct. All right, we uh, here in Bathamayim Wa'amaf in sincerity and truth, and Yahweh Bashmi Awash, I believe that the Lashwan Kudash that was given to us is the correct one. And this is just more proof. All right, this is more, this is just more proof. All right, so with that, all praise to Yahweh Bashmi Awash, Shalom to elect, and a double honors to our elders and apostles, a great millstone. Shalom.